Hello, testing. testing. So we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We're in the third and probably the final. I'll play a third set. This third set now is we've gone double or nothing. So we're going for 400 a set. Still in the guidelines of the 2 to 500 per set we have for the Sydney Pool Masters Cash Challenge. And uh, Vinny's got off to a dream start. He's taken the first two frames down. They're racing to 15. George is getting tired, but George, is, he loves the action, so he's not going to say no to playing another set. And Vinny is starting to flow. But what I was saying earlier when I was discussing this last set is it just takes a couple of misses here and there for Vinny to lose his momentum. And then George, you know, George has got... Eight frame start race 15 is a big start for anybody to come back from. To see how they both handle the pressure in the third and final set. If George can snag a couple of frames early, this match is going to blow wide open. And Vinny did what he had to do. He, he did knock back two frames off the start to make it easier for him to catch up. But if he loses this one, it just changes the, the, the momentum straight away. It looks like he will lose. Good shot there from George. And there you have it. Now it's uh, nine frames, two, two, in favor of George with the eight star. 
And here's where we're going to see some real pressure pull. I know you guys at home have been there for a long time watching this, and it's been a lot of matches played so far, a lot of games played today. We've had a uh, match early in the morning, then we had the um, we, we had the Scott Scott match with Kimpton, which Kimpton came victorious in. We've had now, this is our third set with George Marigulis and Vinny Calabrese, and George has snagged the first two sets, and gee, George has just made the most massive break I've seen in a long time for Ten Ball. Wow. That's, that's a huge break. Huge break. He's made four balls at the break. He's got an easy starting ball on the one. Perfect dream scenario here for George. Can he keep it together? Take this frame away. George isn't happy. He really did overcut that ball. The balls are in the open. He's got to keep his composure together because we know he can do it. It's just the, the the whole the whole feeling of both the first two sets was. I mean, Vinny made charges at both sets, but but um, George had kept Vinny at bay for the first half of the match and then Vinny made a charge towards the end of the first two sets but this set in particular finally Vinny got onto a stronger start so in essence he's actually up 3-1 but the score does say 9 frames for 3 but if I was Vinny I'd be feeling very confident right now he's hitting the ball really crisp he's, 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 he's hitting the ball really well now All of you that know Vinny very well, I know him quite well. I'm not, I'm not like his best friend, but I, I, I do feel a lot for Vinny. Uh, Vinny is a charming young man. He's also one of those bubbly personalities, having go like a type of people. And he's, um, in my opinion, he's a bit of a genius, actually. On the table, he, he, he's a freak. He, he's got so much ability. And, and stuff like this, playing these kind of matches under the pressure, under the pump, I'm just going to keep training him to get better and better and better. That's what the whole point of the Sydney Cash Masters Challenge is. It's about training ourselves. But this is, I uh, have confirmation, this is going to be the third and final set, so it's all or nothing in this match. And believe me, George Marigulis in his mind feels very confident he can take this set down, otherwise he wouldn't agree to play. Even though he's getting a bit tired. But if Vinny can hit the gear that we all know he can hit, he is not going to be a problem. But you see, the thing is, he just missed that three ball now. They've been playing for a few hours now, and they must be getting tired. And, and for people to perform at their peak optimum performance, they... You, you can't be playing straight without any breaks. And these guys had no breaks virtually. George just hooked himself behind the five. Oh, he's looking at the sky now. Shaking his head, he's not happy. Another missed opportunity there from George. His ball control, he, George's potting has been really good, but his ball control hasn't been the very best. Gonna have to play a little Masse safety shot here. One, two, that's a good safety shot from George. It's a very good safety shot from George. It's the best it could have done from that situation. Uh, I liken Vinny right now to a bull on the charge. He looks like a bull on the charge. He's looking very, very determined, very focused. George is looking very calm, very collected, because he's been in these situations before. Back in the day when he used to play uh, lots of snooker for money, he's been under the pump and under these situations plenty of times before. So. We're all hoping to see a bit of magic come out of Vinny tonight, but I don't think it's going to happen. It's, he's been playing pool for just way too long, too many hours straight. And again, he's just 
overrun the ball slightly. So they come up with a safety shot here. Oh no, he's, oh, he's on. Shot. You know, certain players felt that Javini shouldn't be playing this last set. Other players felt like he should. I think he should. I think it's Craig Benny to push himself hard. Knuckle down, deep down. Pressure on himself to win this match. We all know the ability of Vinny. All the ability of any player in the world. And I mean that on a world level. He's got so much ability. He's got to harness all that energy into the game. And really, when he's on, when he's on, he's a joy to watch play pool. We've got another crowd of people here at the uh, pool hall watching. And yeah, that's right, Chris. That's the, this is the best start he's had in all three sets. I make a prediction here. I think Mini is gonna Mini's gonna mow down George very quickly in this set. He's looking very strong. Another good break here for Vinny. Meta ball is on the one. just makes this game look so easy, doesn't he? So flowing, so quick. If you can see him, he's breathing heavy, he's thinking, he's making calculations now in his mind quickly. What he's thinking about now is, what do I do about that six ball? Do I play the cat combination six, eight? Or do I play the position to snooker him and get a ball in hand from that situation? That's what I was just thinking about. Always oh, played this dislodger to keep his run going. And now he's going to play a 5 7 combination. Wow. Come on, Vinny. What a shot there from Vinny Calabrese. Does he get a shot in the five as well? Yes, he does. The middle pocket. He's going to play another combination, probably 5 9. Vinny, like I said, he's like a bull right now, charging. He's just shooting. He doesn't even want to think about it. He's shooting. Might even play this as a double. I don't play the nine ball. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Pressure clutch pull at its very best. Compliments of Vinny Calabrese. This was not an easy clearance, guys. It might look easy now that uh, Vinny's performed it, but it wasn't easy. Nice shot from Vinny Calabrese. That 10 ball wasn't easy, could be missed. Nine frames to five. So we're in for a third set, are we, George? Yeah, I'm starting to get very bored very fast. Why are you getting bored for? I, just, I don't know. I, um, I play for fun and I've had my fun and have now... Have you many chances in last set? No, no, no. Oh, what yeah. do you mean? I've had plenty of chances. Have you yeah, I've had three chances. I should be up. You shouldn't have won a frame. You shouldn't have won a frame, okay. Here's another chance. Now, look, I'll probably get the one, the two, I missed the three. So a dry break here for Vinny. Score is now nine frames to five. Best start Vinny's had in all three sets. In essence, he'd be up five once. He'd be feeling pretty good about himself. Oh, George knows he's only got to win six frames. And he's not going to win playing shots like that. Vinny Corral this frame off, 9-6, he'd be favourite to win this set. It's 
Especially if George doesn't pop balls like that. Guys, if you're at home watching this match, I've been commenting. This is the fourth set in a row I've been commenting on. So uh, help me out here. Post some questions or, or comments down below in the, ch in the group chat, and I can answer them live in real time. Look how fast he's playing. He plays his best when he's playing fast. David, this is the third set, my man. It's not one set each. Uh, George won the first two sets, and they've agreed to play a third set. But this set has got a whole different story behind it, a whole different feeling. This set so far has just been virtually all Vinny. Thanks very much, Nathan Reese. Love you too, man. I haven't seen you for years. Oh my goodness, do you still even know what a pool table looks like? It's been a long time. You should come down to the next New South Wales pool tournament and hang out with us. And Tony Griggs asking why we're using the Aramith balls. Uh, George Mrigalis prefers the Aramith balls, the Cyclops balls, and he always pushes for them when they play money matches. Last time, he, um, they used the Cyclops balls, but this time they're using the Aramiths. George prefers them. Kate Harrison writes in, who's in from Baz? I don't, don't know what that means, Kate. No, this set is not for 800, this set is for 400. Um, so basically, if Vinny wins this set, they're going to come out square. And if not, then George will be eight hundred dollars richer. Who's winning? Kate Harrison. Uh, George is up two sets to love. Eight eight frame start was very big that um, Vinny gave. Uh, but in all fairness, he had really bad starts. In both sets, he started off very slowly. George Mariglis kept him up. And actually, George has played really well today. He's done what he's had to do. He's done a few breaking runs here and there as well. He's played some good safety shots. Yeah. Um, Megzi Magoo says, Baz, that graphite cue you got, you can get him from Rebel. Uh, sweetie, you can't get those graphite cues from Rebel. There's only um, nine brought to Australia. Eight was brought through Cure, the one was brought through another company. Uh, they're $2,000 a cube. They're uh, brand new technology. Uh, really great cues. Uh, if you're ever at a pool tournament, you see me there, just come on over and you can try it out. You'll see there's a huge difference between a carbon graphite cue from Paradigm for $2,000 or a $25 cue from Rebel Sport. Who is in front? George is in front, nine frames to six. Uh, soon, I think the score will be nine frames to seven. We've been to break. Joey T. Hey, Joey T. Joey T is asking me what my black shaft is made from. Black shaft is made from a carbon graphite composite. Now, I don't even know what that means. Um, that's what the Predator advertiser is. But what it, what it, it feels like, um, I know it's hollow in the, in the tip. And um, I think it's got a little hollow part inside the tip. But it, it plays like a 3142 shaft, but more stiff. And has a lot more power with less deflection. Hi, Adrian Papworth. Georgia's start in the first two sets was eight. Eight race to 15, which is over half the set. Um, and, of course, uh, Vinny said, no, let's not change the start. Let's keep going. And uh, Vinny feels that that's fair. Actually, we all feel that's pretty fair. It just all depends on how they're breaking. Vinny's had a, a, quite a few scratches off the break today, which cost him the matches. Uh, Vinny, uh, George won the first set 15 frames to 13, and he won the second set 15 frames to 11. Mm -hmm. 
Sifu Luin writes, Baz, can you explain why such a big start? No action for Vinny. Uh, that's right, Sifu. Vinny's been trying to get action since the Sydney Pool Masters Challenge has started. Vinny's been trying to get action to people to play him, but no one wants to step up, even the Masters. No one, I mean, you're not going to get his brother Chris playing him for money. This doesn't make any sense at all. He's had virtually no action at all. Actually, no action. Um, but it's been confirmed that there are two players who are going to be playing him soon. Uh, one's the master. And one is myself, of course. And well, that's coming up in the next few weeks. So he's going to get some action. But he had to give away eight. The only, when, when, he, when he asked um, when the, the match was getting started with George, George said, Vinny, I want eight frame start from you to make a fair. And Vinny said, yeah, that's fine. And no one else was playing him. A lot of people are afraid of playing Vinny, but I don't know if it's just Vinny. I think some people are just afraid to go up on... Maybe they just don't want to get up on stage and play. They're happy to play someone in a tournament, but not play for someone uh, for money on Facebook, perhaps. Thanks, Mark, for the suggestion. We've actually had a little discussion. Chris Calabrese and myself had a discussion today about how we're going to... Uh, fix the scoreboard and we've got a couple of ideas it'll be a lot larger and more visible for you guys at home Mitch Tucker Vinny is on fire he is on fire Mitch but as you know one or two little mistakes here and there well, just like this now when he scratches the white can make all the difference Megzi Magoo's asking, what start would that goose Daniel Megahe get off you? Are you asking about me or Vinny? I'm not sure, Megzi. David, we know that you're not getting nothing from uh, Vinny. You're playing him off scratch, but if you do get something, they're If you were watching earlier, Sithu, um, we put a little invitation out there for players from other states. High, we want high-caliber players, players of Vinny's caliber to step up and play him. And um, we're, we're asking for a larger amount of money matches. And Chris Calabrese said he'll put up their airfare. Okay, so Megzi, Daniel Megahay wants to... Does he want to play me or you're asking? Um, I, I'm not sure. I think Daniel Megahay will be classed as a five, uh, as a as a as a B grade player. So that means that I'll be giving him. I believe I'll be giving him two. If Daniel wants to play, he can just post message me and work something out between us. But I believe at the moment, I think it's two or three, three start he gets race to 15, which is pretty much fair. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really Calabrese. I'm the mule. Thank you, Ria, for saying that I'm the best and for commentating. You know, I love commentating. I love adding value to the matches, but the real, the real stars of the show are the guys who are sitting there wielding the queue and putting on the performance. I just, I'm just the guy in the background making things a little bit more exciting and just making sure that people, when they log on at any given moment, they know that what's up, what's happening, who's playing who, what's at stake. And right now the score is seven frames to 10. George is in the lead, but Vinny is playing very different to what he has played earlier. <laughs> Jason Fisher, you're a quality player, my man. You can take the flight, come down here and play him off scratch. How's that sound? <laughs> Runner up in the Australian and he wants to play him for eight start. There's no way he's giving you eight start, Jason. You can give me eight start race to 15. How's that sound? <laughs> you gave me a hiding last time I played you. It's great to see a lot more action in the group chat now. You know what I'd like to see in the group chat? I'd like to see you guys just post up a prediction what, who you think is going to win and what uh, frame score you reckon it will be. The score is now 10 frames to 8. George is still in front, but George has zoned out a little bit and I can see that he's feeling a little bit disheartened. Vinny is just, like I said, a bull in the china shop. He's just going. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Interesting suggestion from Terry Lai here. Terry Lai says that we should get a girl in a bikini to walk around uh, after every frame with the score. I don't know if I like that idea of a girl in a bikini. A lot of people will stop watching the game and start looking at the girl in the bikini. So Kate Harrison reckons the video will win 15 to 12. He's playing a lot faster now and determined. He's absolutely determined. Mark Bartlett, Bart Bartlett reckons Vinny will win 15 to 11. Yeah, Vinny's really found another gear. But all it takes is one or two mistakes and then bang. I mean, if, if George has a ball in hand, he's, he's had opportunities this set. If he can put this frame away, bring it to 11-8, stop Vinny's tracks, you know, he can slow him down a little bit. Oh, dude. Trust me, you did not want to see me in a mankini. Believe me. Not a pre sight. Adrian Papel. So, so far, what I'm seeing from the predictions is that mo most people, everyone thinks that Vinny's going to win. I guarantee you, it's not a shoe in. It does look like it, but George can play. And this is a big frame. I mean, Eight frames to ten. George snags this. He's just going to slow down Vinny's momentum a little bit. And the closer George gets to the end, the more pressure amounts on Vinny's shoulders. <laughs> nice prediction, Danny Gallagher. <laughs> David Relgic will comment at least 50 times. <laughs> He's a very vocal young man, that's for sure. Mark Bartlett, do we win something if we're right? Yes, you win the knowledge knowing that you are right. You're the prediction master, and uh, maybe we can do this every single time we have a set. We can have a prediction at the beginning of the set, when also halfway through. <laughs> Megzi Mugu right. Mega Hay just asked me for Lauren to play you, Baz. I told him to ask Aaron Douglas. Hey, I remember Daniel Mega Hay is a very accomplished player. He can hit the ball well. I don't really feel comfortable giving him a start. George has just overrun that Early in the last set, similar to this, with the rest. So that'll be in the back of his mind. Last time he played a shot like this on the 10, he overcut it. He's really got it now. I expect him to get this, though. Big shot here on the 10. Hold your breath. No one sneeze. He's, he's played it well. Played it well. So 11 frames to 8. George to break. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Jay. <laughs> I don't think there'd be a, a large amount of money big enough to get me to wear a mankini where, walking around the table with the scoreboard. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, guys. That frame was big. Score is now 11 frames to 8. George is 4 frames away. And Vinny needs 7. 11 frames to 8, mate. Yep. Danny Stone's the only person backing George. I don't know if that's a piss take. Nathan Reese, George is not going to give you 8 frame start. Let's just, let's just, you just know that from now. He's not giving you 8 frame start. Well, people at home are saying there's no more frames for George, but he's had a really, really good break, and he's actually been playing really good. The only problem ball he's got here is the three, and if he can get a good angle on the three, he can double it. And it opens up the whole frame. There's a lot riding on this set, guys. It's an $800 swing on one set. Scores 11-8 today. It's correct, yep. George was just asking me if he'd won two frames in a row. And if the score was correct, it feels like it should be a frame more. But the score's, the score's right. It was 10-8 before, now it's 11-8. If 
George can put this frame away, changes everything. Even if he doesn't break and run, as long as he puts some pressure on Vinny in a safe, like with a good safety, it slows down Vinny a lot. Vinny's been sitting down for a while watching George pop balls. Danny Stones reckons it'll be Hill Hill. That's a really good shot from George. Hit that confidently and well. Struck it well. Deep screw. I don't know if he's out enough to make the four, but if he is, is he Massain? He's Massain, he's fouled. He's fouled, but he hasn't left anything easy for Vinny. He's just a ball in hand and a safety shot coming up. and play the safety shot there, Stuka him. Hope that even if George does hit the ball, leaves him on so he can run the balls. It's going to be a little bit careful though getting on that eight ball. It's pretty close to the nine. Oh, George has hit it. And he'll be really happy with this. He's hit it and he's snooking him back. It's kick safe. Oh, my, my apologies, you can see the ball. So he's played a double and he's missed it and left it up for George. George can play a three rail spin shot. He one, two, three rails with bottom right hand spin to get on the um, five ball. Welcome, John Barad, John of England. Welcome, Gavin Douglas, Gavin the burglar. That's right, guys. I'm doing shout-outs now. This is the fourth set in a row I've been commentating today. Mouth's getting a little dry. But I tell you what, I can't go anywhere. I just can't leave. It's just too much action for me. I've commentated on many, many Australian finals. I've commentated overseas in the Cyprus. I've commentated on pre-recorded matches, on money matches, you name it. But it... Every time it's the first time for me. It always feels like the first time. Oh, what a great shot. He gets a little kiss on the nine. No, he doesn't. Oh, he's in trouble now. He's behind the nine. Welcome, Chris Kovacs. You legend. Chris Kovacs, one of the best players in New South Wales, in my opinion. So this is how fickle this game can be. If George got a little kiss on that nine ball, he was plumped to take out this frame, go up 12 frames to eight, really put pressure on, on Vinny, but he ended up hooking himself. The play a safety shot. For those of you guys at home, Gavin Douglas, John Barad, and Chris Kovacs have just joined. This is the third and final set. Vinny's lost the first two sets, 15 to 13, so yeah, 15 to 13, 15 to 11, and they're playing 400 in this last set, so Vinny can either break out even or walk away losing 800 bucks. And again, Vinny's giving away an eight frame start, so the score is 11 8. Really, George only won three frames. Um, but George is still only three, four frames away from taking down the set. So there's a lot of pressure out there, especially on Vinny. Hello, pup. <laughs> I'll be seeing you tomorrow night, mate. Yeah, I saw, hey Andy, Andy saw me at work this morning. I was at work, I was hurrying up, trying to get, I only did about four and a half hours, trying to get out there as soon as possible, then I raced down here so I could do the commentary. Little did I know I'd be doing four straight sets. I've done heaps more than this. I remember at uh, yeah, Oceania last year, I did, I did commentary from 10 o'clock in the morning till eight, nine o'clock at night. I love it. You know, if you guys know me well, and a lot of you guys do, I love talking. Vinny's looking a little bit tired. He's sniffling. I can hear him sniffing. He's got a runny nose. He's going to be very, very careful. He's going to play a safety shot behind the nine ball. And he's Oh, he just missed the nine. Beautiful, beautiful. That's a good shot. Ooh. 
unfortunate for George, but fortunate for Vinny. George almost made that ball in the middle pocket. And Vinny, a chance to pull one back. He's hit this a bit hard. He's all right. Chance to pull it back within two frames. Frames to nine. Guys, when you get a chance in your own time, at home, if you haven't watched the first two sets, I guarantee you the cracker sets. We had some wonderful commentary from the likes of Chris Calabrese, Kipton Cress, Annie Kim. We had a whole bunch of people coming on, jumping on board. Luke Hoff as well, previous state champion, the giant killer. Um, we had some great commentary in the first two sets. Um, unfortunately, everyone's had to either go home or they've gone off to go play their own matches. And I've been left alone in the commentary box, but I'm never lonely because there's a lot of people out there watching. We actually have more viewers for this final set than what we've had before. We've got 53 live viewers. It's amazing. And you know these matches, even though there's only 53 live viewers at the moment, there's going to be... There's going to be, you know, 800, 900 views within the course of a week. So this is at least time to take off. Welcome, President James Hardy to the mix. I know you've just joined us. We're in the third and final set, James. Score is 11 frames to nine. Vinny gave away eight start. And uh, George is taking the first two sets down. But this is definitely the best start that Vinny's had in a set because he, he, he was behind in both the first two sets badly. Grant Meddy's asking to score 11 frames to nine in favor of uh, George Marigulis. Oh, beautiful shot there from Vinny. Nice touch. Nice touch. Looking forward to the tournament next week, James. I would love to win it. <laughs> I gotta start putting some practice time in this week. And George, and George has just played a fantastic safety. Again, like I was saying, nice touch. Really nice touch, really nice speed. And Vinny's nominated the two ball. Interesting. No, but he's missed the one. Ball hand opportunity here for George. George in front, 11 frames to nine. He just has to win four frames, and this is exactly what I expected George to do. I didn't say it before he did it, but I tell you, when he was playing me, he was doing this nonstop. He was going for three fouls nonstop when he was playing me. And George knows that if he wins this, I mean, he's a really good player, a safety player, but if he can snag a frame with three fouls, he knows it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt, Nat. Oh, good kick there. Good kiss there from, uh, double kiss there from Vinny. He knew that. If he fouled there, I reckon it would have been over. And another safety from George. The safety has a two-way effect. Not only does it not allow Vinny to run out, could give him a ball hand, could go for three fouls, but it also slows Vinny down because Vinny's very much a rhythm player. As you all know, once when he's in rhythm and get in gear, he's like a freight train. Not much can stop him. John Wims has just joined. John Wims, welcome, my man. It's a name from the past. I haven't seen you in ages. Welcome from Barry the Mule, mate. So the score is now two sets to love in favour of George Marigulis. Oh, and that's a huge scratch from Vinny. That's a huge scratch there from Vinny. And it avails ball in hand for George. Score is 11 frames to 9. George did receive his 8 frame start handicap, which he, which he asked for in a race of 15. And George really hasn't done much this set. He's only really won three, 3 frames, but he has a golden opportunity to put another frame away. And every frame is another nail in the coffin. We've got a crowd of people here watching. Hello, Archie Luminarius. Welcome, my man. 
George Camper, another now on the coffin, get himself within three frames of victory. He's a good shot here to get behind the seven with a bit of angle to get on the black. Very important shot here. Good speed, good line. I don't think he could have played that any better. Played that very well. And now George has just found another gear. Not the same George that was here earlier in this set. Played that well. He's done a little bit high on the black boys. He's going to play that bottom right hand spin here. Come off one rail and out for the nine. Keep his focus. He's stretching a little bit. Played it well. Oh, this, this frame's going to hurt Vinny, guys. This frame's going to hurt Vinny. If George puts his frame away, it's going to really hurt him. Going to get George very close to finishing line. Played that very well. I do not expect him to miss this turn ball. Not the way he's queuing now. Oh my god. Not the way he was queuing. I did not expect that at all. Wow, clutch. But I tell you what, he hasn't really left much of a Vinny. I don't think this doubles. It doesn't cut. Safety's, safety's hard. Wow. Tough situation to be in if you're Vinny. Yeah, the two rail, two rail kick was what I saw as well. But he's executed that beautifully. Beautifully. Excellent speed from Vinny. Down that back rail. What do you do now if you're George in this situation? Score is 11 frames to 9. He's really taking his time, steadying the ship. Oh, he played a double of some kind. Ah, this is no good. He's going to leave this over the pocket for Vinny. Vinny will just thump this in. That, my friends, is a big ball. That 10 ball that George sh should have put away on that clearance would have made it 12-9 and it would have been really grim for Vinny. But now it's 11-10 and it's, it's anyone's game. In fact, on paper you have to put Vinny favourite from 11-10. Who was it that said George would stay on 11? One of you guys said that George would stay on 11. Megzi Magoo is asking if Walker plays Hardy, who's favourite. Which is which Walker? Is that Jamie Walker? And in which discipline? Oh, what a great shot from Vinny. He's opened them up, but I think he's beat. I think he's behind the four, unless he can mass, like, do a slight mass A. Scores anyone. Hey, Craig Riley. Oh, good shot there. Does he get around all the traffic? No, he doesn't. Um, Craig, uh, George Marigulis won the first two sets. Um, he won them 15 to 13 and 15 to 11. He receives an eight frame start from Vinny, which was agreed upon since it's a winner, right frame, winner break format. And now in this particular set, which is the third and final set. Uh, George is leading 11 frames to 10. And it's been very contested. Every set has been very contested. It's a good watch. Uh, as I was saying earlier, if you guys have time, you can watch the first two sets again. They're, we had some really good commentators that joined me, and there was a lot of action. You know, last week we had a set between, I think it was George and Chris, and Chris Calabresi caught George very quickly, 
with the handicaps, and then all of a sudden George took off again and got in front of him again. Uh, Chris did end up winning. Chris ended up winning uh, the set in the end, but it was very contested. Oh, he didn't hit that well at all. Megzi Magoo is asking. I heard Quinton Hahn is making a comeback to play at City Heroes. What's his handicap? Well, I haven't heard anything like that, uh, Daniel. Um, but I'm sorry, Megzi. But um, yeah, we can talk about that if that ever happens. I don't think so, though. That's a good shot there from George. That was a good shot there from George. Can't count George out just yet. Still some fight in him. Oh yeah, I, I, I think I'm gonna put this frame down as George's. Get to hold his nerve here. Not clutch up on those shots. You don't thump any more balls in George. He likes to thump him. that well all right so with this frame George is gonna pull a two frame advantage 12 10 maybe three frames away from winning the third and final set well done George good finish Tell you what, for you guys at home, the pool hall's gone eerily quiet. It's 8 30 at night and it's just gone eerily quiet. There's no music in this pool room. I think it's the first pool room in Sydney I've ever, I've ever been to, not just in Sydney but around the world. It doesn't have any music playing in the background. There's just no music, it's just a pool hall. It's just eerily quiet in here. George, monster break from George. Look at this. He's gonna get a nice bounce of the one. It's got the one over the pocket. I think he can see enough of it to pot it. And this is where George Marigulis, the slug, starts to make his move. But he's played a... He's gotten a kiss on the three and he's in no man's land on the other side of the table. Hello, Daniel Thorpe. Welcome, mate. Barry the Mule Mavros here. Good to see you. Yeah, George has got that little kiss now, that flick on the three, he's in no man's land on three. So he come up with a good safety shot. Leading 12 frames to 10 in the third and final set in the, City Cash, in the Sydney Cash Masters Challenge. And that safety shot's no good, that's, that's, that's no good. Ball in hand from Vinny, all the balls are in the open. Nothing difficult here for a player of Vinny's calibre. Just going to make sure he lands on the right side of the balls and just put them all away. Gee, really, for a guy with so much Q power, he really does have a nice, delicate touch on the table when he's playing. Precision is the key. He makes it look really easy. But he is trading 12 frames to 10. Of course, he did give away 8 frame start. Which is fair. Maybe a little bit too fair for the George Marigulis camp, if you ask me. But yeah, the score's going to be 12-11 now. Fibbins flooding on 50 live viewers non-stop. George, how you going, mate? Starting to play careless shots, that's all. How easy was that run out? It was, it was, it was easy, but you clipped the three ball yeah, on the way out. Well, the bottom line is you're having fun. Love it. You but love I'm starting it. to get bored of it, but. That's okay, I've got to give you a chance here and it's money, mate. Uh -huh, I see, I see, I see. It's fun. It is fun. 
good seeing Vinny under the whip. And it's good seeing you hear that, guys. He says it's fun and it's good seeing Vinny under the whip. Tell you what, Vinny's been playing pool now for the last four or five hours. He's been behind the whole time. And he's struggling with a cold. He's got a runny nose, he's grabbing tissues non stop. Hello, Dermot. How are you, mate? Hello, Greg Jenkins. Welcome, buddy. And there's George again, just slapping at the ball. He gets a little bit excited sometimes. And he ends up hitting the ball really a lot harder than what he has to. And for this frame, Vinny's got to pull off a really great opening shot, which I have no doubt he's going to do. But he's got to be careful with that four ball, because that four balls are one of those, that precarious position where it's very hard to make it on and get posy. Oh, perhaps it is on. Sorry guys, I thought the four ball was close to the little pocket. Hi Cody Richardson, how are you mate? Ooh, that four ball was not easy. Vinny had to hit it hard because he didn't have a lot of angle. Get position on the five. That's it, and it pop, 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 spat it out. Oh, George hit that so much confidence with so much confidence. <laughs> 12 frames to 11. George has to win three. And Vinny has to win four. And this is very contested, very tight. I do think that the start is, a, in my personal opinion, I do think it's a little bit too much. George is a very capable player. That's what they agreed on. And... You know, I, I, I know that George has been enjoying himself today. I know he's enjoying it. I can tell from his body language. I don't know how much enjoyment Vinny's had today. It's been a lot of work for Vinny. Vinny's had to really push very, very hard to win this, to get close to even winning the first two sets. Danny Stone says that he sees George winning from here. Yeah, it's very possible. He wins this. Is, he's only two frames away, and he's going to win this. Stop showing the black. Son the nine. Bob's your uncle. James your auntie. Luke Robinson saying, just makes me want to pick up a cue again, Cody. Yeah, pool's really exciting. It's a, great, it's a great game as a hobby. It's a great game for some escapism. It's a great game for just to, to relax with. It's a great game to take up as a sport. Um, it all depends on what you want to get out of it, really. I mean, pool is like life. You just you get out what you put in. And with that frame, that was a big frame. It could have been 12 piece. And, uh, and I really felt like Vinny needed that frame because now 13 to 11, George is getting awfully close to the finishing line. If 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 Vinny gets a chance, he's gonna play he's gonna play virtually perfect. Yes, escapism, David. There are some people that play pool as escapism. They act like they're playing it uh, for other reasons, but that's what it is. They're um. They're playing it to get away from studying from school, uh, studying at university, or they're playing it to get away from work, or they're playing it to get away from their wife. You just got married, you don't know about that just yet, but you will soon. <laughs> Fishism. <laughs> Big break from George. Gee, he's really found another gear. That's right, John Miller. If he loses this set, he loses 800. And, that's, and I, I believe that's exactly what George wanted. He's put, got him in the position. I mean, if, I mean it, let's, let's look at it realistically. If George had lost the first set, would they have played a second set? If he got played the first set? George is a very capable player. I mean, in a short race, George can beat Vinny off scratch. And if you break it down, you know, a race to 15 is just two sets to race to seven. John Miller writes, if Vinny won the first set, George would quit. Well, um, um, maybe, maybe. Uh, it's a pretty silly question, Daniel. I don't know that man at all. I've never met him. I don't know him. But I wouldn't play him. Uh, Vinny's missed the three, but he's gotten very, very fortunate with the snooker. But you see, 
Rini's been playing for quite a few hours, just like George has, and it's extremely tiring, and he's not as accurate as what he was a couple of hours ago. I can see it. He's tired, and he's under pressure. The pressure builds up in your mind first, and then it translates to your body. Oh, George hit it. He hit it. Got away with it. Eight years head start. <laughs> Score is 13 frames to 11. This is a massive set. It came down the wire. Vinny's got to reel in his emotions, focus, and do what he is trained to do. You guys out there know how I feel about Vinny. One of the most talented players I've ever seen play live. And you know that he's one of the only guys in Australia to actually match it with those professionals overseas. But he needs situations like this. He needs pressure situations like this too to mould him, to shape him. If he wins or loses today, he's going to get a lesson either way. And experiences like this cannot be bought on the practice table. They can not be bought playing with your mates for a beer at the pub. But you put yourself in front of a camera playing against George the Hustler, Merdic uh, Merigulous, and these situations, they're gold. All right, 13 frames to 12 now. Things are really heating up here. When you're at home, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen next. And oh my God, Vinny just scratched in the middle pocket. That's that sixth time. Sixth time he's done that today. Sixth time. And every time he's done it, he's put two, three balls. He's put three balls again. Ball in hand for George. Close to the end. Hello, Haskurdy. Hello, Muzz. This is huge. That ball in hand is huge. And you know what? No matter how great the man is sitting down right now, no matter how great the player is sitting down, you can't do anything about it. Vinny has to hope and pray he gets another opportunity at the table. And George has got that little bounce in his step right now. You can see it. His left eye is bigger than his right eye. He's really focused. If we can put this match away. Hello, Jonathan Taylor. How are you, mate? He's played a poor shot there. He's, played a very, he's got his hand up in the air. Had a very poor shot in the seven. This is a big, 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 big frame. Huge shot here from George. One, two, three round position. He's played that very, very well. Getting a little bit close to his work and he's absolutely plumb on the black. Don't know if he was playing that hole. I don't think he was, but he is Greek. He can play multiple holes if he wants to. Luke Roberts has asked if there's another match on off this. There was one match scheduled but um, with me involved, but I'm getting a little bit too tired. i got to go home. So there'll be no more matches after this tonight, guys. Oh, and George has overcooked this. He's in the 50-yard zone. He's, played, he's overcooked it that much. He's going to have to play this in the middle pocket. This is tight, guys. Oh, he's cut it. He's cut it. He's cut it. And he's made it. What a shot from George to put himself on the hill. It's a strong, strong out. Strong, strong out. Hello, Chris Giovannis. I can see you over there, logging on. That was a strong out from George. Wow. A couple of loose positions, a couple of... But you know, play the recovery shots, let's give his call together. 14 frames to 12, George is one frame away from taking home the cash. Wow, that shot, yeah. Nathan Reese saying, wow, that shot. Roger saying, good shot, that was a good shot. Oh, no. You're talking about the seven ball, that was a good shot. Another big break from George. And he's made the black in the corner. He's made two balls and he's got a shot in the one. And he's got the first opportunity at putting this match away and taking home the cash.
Well, you guys are watching at home. Who do you reckon feeling better right now, George or Vinny? George is feeling a lot better than Vinny right now, that's for sure. David Reynolds is saying he should be out here. Well, yeah, he should, but nine balls a big ball could hamper him from the three. But, see, George is very experienced. He's taking his time. A lot of inexperienced players start to rush on the hill. George is taking his time here. And all this time, and every, with every ball he pots, he's building up more and more pressure on Vinny. Even if he doesn't get out, you really think Vinny can run four and out? Not easy. That's the shot I was talking about. He had to make sure he avoided the nine ball, and I think he's good. That's a really good shot. And now the seven ball is a big ball. He's going to get on the four ball to get on the six. I, this is not an easy Mickey Mouse out. Dave. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's a big ball. He's snooking down behind the seven. Now, he's, now he looks at the ground. Now he's realized he's snooking. He really had to play around the seven and come between the seven and six to get on that four to give himself angle to get back on the six. All the other way. But anyway, what he could have done, should have done, and would have been able to do was before him a minute ago. There are moments when I do commentary where I talk more than normal. This is one of those moments where I don't really want to talk much because the, the game says it all. George made the shot. It was on. It was on. George is four frames, of, four balls away. This is going to be a huge out, break and run to finish off the match. Stop shot on the six, roll on the seven. Oh, he's he's looking really good here. He's going to hold his nerve. He's missed a shot. He's missed his shot twice today. He's going to make sure he cues it well. And that's the same thing I said, same way as last time. He even said it just now. He said he was thinking about the shot he missed before. He missed it in the same manner. That's the third time. The third time he's missed that ball today. Same shot, same pocket. Does that change things? Is that that's the opportunity? That's an opportunity. Because I guarantee you, George was out there. He was out. Whoops, says David Rogic. Just needed a stop shot. That's right. Uh, buckle down, Vinny. Focus. All right. 14, 13, and a race to 15. Things are heating up here at City Heroes. Before this match is over. Three times today. Three times. Hello, Michael Wright. Welcome. If you joined us, you joined us at the very right time, mate. The score is now 14-13. Race to 15. This is the third and final set. As you know, Vinny's given away eight frame start in all three sets. He's lost the first two sets, and now they're playing double or nothing in the last set. And, gee, it's, that's, that's the break that uh, Vinny needed, but he doesn't really have a hole for the two unless he banks it. This is not the time to be doubling balls, though. Luke Robinson's asking how long has the match been going for. Mate, this is the... Um, well over maybe five hours now. No, sorry, I lied. Started at five, this is the... We're in the... We've almost closed four hours, going into the fifth hour soon. Vinny had a shot in the middle here. You reckon at home, guys, you reckon Vinny's going to do three now? Considering the pressure. No, the match started at 5 p.m. Thanks, Pop. I love it. Hello, Jacob. Jacob. Jacob and hello James Georgiadis. Yasure <laughs> Megale. James, uh, you're an interstate player. We've uh, given away a. Um, we've asked interstate players to come down to Sydney to play Vinny. He's playing some big sets. If anybody wants to play, a lot of players in Sydney don't want to play him. 
He's been forced to do crazy stuff like give away eight frame start to play people that want to play him. Oh, please, Vinny. I would love to see a double heel match here. Oh, he's played a great shot there, but he's too close to them. He's hampered on the nine. Holy. Hello, Maddie. Hello, Joey T. Hampered on nine. This is a big, big, huge, difficult, huge, massive shot that he's missed. Absolutely fluffed. And that was huge. He just got too close to the nine ball. All George has to do is just put away three balls in his one. 15 to 13. Stephen Worth. Hey, Stephen. We're at the end, business end of the third and final set. If George wins this, he walks away with $800. If Vinny wins, they walk away even. George has won the first two sets. And George is leading 14 to 13. He just needs this frame. He just needs three balls. Vinny needs to win this and win the next frame. Big shot here from George. Going to come off three rails. Watch the white ball. He's missed a shot. One, two, three rounds. And position. And where's that black going? Oh. Provided that Vinny doesn't scratch in the middle pocket, this is going to be a hill hill situation. Which is what everyone sees. We've got a crowd of people here watching at City Heroes. Crowd of people. And if this 10 ball disappears, I'll be commentating on a hill hill match. Yes, I will be. This is going to be exciting. Everyone's excited. So how would you like to play one frame for $800? Hmm. Big question there. Now, just so you remember, today Vinny has scratched in the middle pocket six times in crucial situations. I feel like he's going for a bit more, bit, bit extra juice and getting that scratch. So this frame is worth 800 There's a, uh, a handshake. Well done, guys. Good luck, both of you. And yes, I'm the only person clapping, but I'm excited. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Vinny didn't scratch his time. Oh my god. Oh, almost scratched in the opposite pocket. He's made a ball. He's got a shot on the one. John Miller's predicting a 45 second break and run out. I don't think so. Tricky to get on the black ball. He's gonna have to play off the he's gonna play off the black here. That nice little kiss. And the black's coming to ruin his life completely. Now Vinny's called the eight. This is a massive shot. Two way combination, even with big pockets, this is not easy under the pump. But Vinny made it look ridiculously easy. I'm not a liar, he's making me look like a liar. That was not easy, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my god, how on earth did he do that? You might be thinking, oh, how on earth did he do that? He didn't screw back far enough to get on the three, and now he's solidly hooked behind the six. Oh my god. We do. He's going to do a Massé. Oh, this is this is this is crazy. Massé is not a good shot. Oh, he's hit it, and he's he's he's, he's all. Oh, I don't know if he's all right here. I think this goes. Get David's jump cue out. Yeah, John Miller. Oh wow, what the f? Pressure has arrived, and he says no. He just didn't get into it enough. He didn't get screw past the six. George can play a three-round position, one, two, two-round position shot here to get on the four. If he can cut this in, he does. One, so he get past the six. He's got past the six. He's laying on the bottom rail, but he'll take that. He'll take that. He's just going to play this one rail up and down for the five. And he's going to be in prime position to take this match away. 14 frames apiece. This is ridiculous amounts of pressure. George's arm um, chicken wind a little bit there. It chicken wind a little bit there. And... He's out of position, but it's okay. You can play a safety shot behind the seven here, which is, I think it's called for at this stage of the match, which he has done, locking Vinny down behind the seven. That's exactly what he should have done, and he did do. He's got a two-hour kick shot here. He must hit this. He must hit this ball, which he has, and he's going to go safe. You know what? I'd be happy with that if I was Vinny. Because George has to make a shot here. Yes, James, that's right. Winner takes eight hundred dollars. Um, George has come with a great shot. What a screamer! Absolute screamer. He needs one more though. He's one more. He's going to avoid that middle pocket. Hello, Alan McCarthy. Welcome. You're right on time. Double hill, fourteen apiece. Race to fifteen. Whoever wins this takes home all the marbles. 
and George has missed that shot. I think he was trying to avoid the middle pocket enough. Hello, Tavis. Welcome, mate. And with these three balls, I mean, anything can happen, but it looks like Vinny's going to get out here. Two balls away. Vinny Calabrese just settle down and make this ball. And well done to Vinny. Well done. It's all over. We've got a massive crowd here watching. We've got so many live viewers. That's the most we've had before. It's been a great match. I've loved commentating on this match. Thank you very much at home for watching. Do an interview. <laughs> How you feel, Vinny? Yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a bit tired, but George sort of let me off the hook. Let, let you off the hook, you reckon? You played pretty well, dude. Come on, eight start. Yeah, the first... You almost got there twice. Yeah, I know, yeah, well, that's... Yeah, that's, in the first couple, we had a uh, massive lead, and I actually played better, and then in the third one, I caught up to him, but I just maybe the let the, you know, gas off, but that's what we need... You're getting old. The, the, um, that was good, those first two sets, the intensity is what, what we want to try and emulate that in a tournament, but we don't have enough tournaments, so if we can keep playing matches like this, we can get to that, that, situ that occasion. I'm pretty sure it was, it, was stress it was stressful for everyone at home as well. For me, it's a big, George, maybe not for George, but... He's been around for 40 years. <laughs> 47. Now, I just, I, look, I said, to, like I said to... Barry, before, at the beginning of the third set, I said, oh, I'm not going to pot many balls this set. I just know it. Because I know I've, I, really good. it's fun to play. For me, I play for fun. And it's a bit wet outside, so the fingers are cramping up. No, knees, no, knees a bit shoddy. No, no, I, just, I just start bashing them, and then I, I just get into this mindset of just bash the ball or, or not look for the next shot. and just I just do that. Yeah but, can, yeah, but can you use this as a platform to maybe work through that? So when you get deep in a tournament, you don't shit yourself. Not that you shit yourself, but you know. No, I don't really care. This is To me, this is a money game. This is not tournament. Tournament's shit. I want to see you win a New South Wales pool event, preferably nine ball. I, I, I usually play on the Saturday and forfeit on the Sunday. <laughs> but Barry, thoughts? My thoughts was it was an interesting match. It was a lot. It was very entertaining. People at home. We had a lot of live viewers, man. Well, while I've got you both here, I mean, I've got the mule and I've got the slug, and there is a, meant to be a grudge match decider. Can you guys talk me through the preparation for that? Because that's got to be soon. Come on. Uh, I think it's about three or four weeks away, isn't it? Or three or four weeks. Three or four weeks, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here. <laughs> the week before Adelaide. Yeah, because otherwise it's just getting too close to Easter for me for work. Yeah, I don't. I've got a couple of big poker tournaments coming up. At the okay, so they're both backing down now, but it was three or four weeks now, poker tournaments in Adelaide. No, 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 no. We're saying it's only even two, three weeks away. It's, it's... Yeah, it's a million-dollar tournament at the Star um, over the next two weeks, starting Monday. Basically, we, we both want to play it. Can we get a date? I can't book a date just yet. No. I, I can't. For what? Okay, but in the next week, we're looking for an update on the Slug versus Mule Grudge Match Facebook page. Is that what you're saying? Whenever, soon. All right, all right. I'll, I'll leave him alone. I'll leave him alone. <laughs> um, Barry, Barry, Luke wants to, a race to five for 50 bucks. I'm backing Luke. I know you're backing Luke. I don't understand. Luke, Luke's going to mess you up, dude. Luke, you want to take Barry on for 50 bucks? I'll back you. All right, race to five. Seven. And he gets one start. Why is he one start? Oh, just. Otherwise, it's too easy for you, Buzz. Okay, okay. All right, we'll be back in 10, 15 minutes.